watching the Game of Thrones series, my life has never remained the same. Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. My name is Glory. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about my reaction to the Game of Thrones season 8 episode 3. Honestly, I must say that that is the best epic movie that I have ever seen in my entire life. That one hour, 36 or 56 minutes or whatever minutes was not a waste. I mean, it was precious time spent watching precious production on TV. Honestly, I mean, prior to the time I watched that particular episode, I knew when it aired and there were so many reviews about it on Twitter and I deliberately refused to go on Twitter like for a whole week because I was just seriously trying to avoid any spoilers. And my colleagues in the office kept on going on and on about it. Oh my God, have you seen this particular episode? It's amazing. I'm like, look, I beg, nobody should tell me anything because seriously, you guys are just going to spoil the fun, you know? So I got the episode on my phone and I refused to watch it until I had the moral and mental balance <laughs> to handle all the madness in that episode. And believe me, guys, I was alone at home in my room and I watched it and I do not regret watching it. And I have to say this to you, for those of you who haven't followed the series at all, who have not even started watching from even season one, please go and watch it because you need this turn around in your life. Honestly, you want to learn about power, you want to learn about manipulation, mm -hmm. you want to learn about being selfish, you want to be, learn about being goody two shoes, you want to learn about being everything in this life, good, bad, ugly, horrible, just watch the game of thrones yeah and another thing i want to talk about is people's viewers reaction to everything all the events in that episode and i want to say that there are just so many biased comments everybody was just going on and on about Arya stark being the hero of game of thrones but i say no Arya wasn't the hero of that particular episode no way i totally disagree because everybody that fought that war with the white walkers everybody was a hero everybody including those who died including those who were alive and then i was so disappointed when i saw a lot of tweets you know saying that john snow was just running on a, um, running around with uh, daenerys on the dragon um, flying around the the war zone just doing nothing they were actually doing a lot everybody was busy everybody was involved in the war aria as a matter of fact was really really scared in fact she didn't she couldn't even fight the white walkers all i saw her doing in that particular episode was her just going on and on running around trying to avoid the white walkers and she didn't really find the courage until the red lady told her oh yes we meet again i told you before you're going to kill green eyes and of course blue eyes that was when aria found her courage all through that particular episode Arya was sort of frightened. Yes, she was frightened. She had heard about the White Walkers, but she wasn't prepared for what she saw. And the fact that she was able to kill the Night King was as a result of, um, what's his name? Is it Brandon? Yeah, Brandon's, Brandon's strategic positioning of himself on that, you know, that big tree. I don't know what they call the tree in the movie, but it was Brandon's strategic positioning of himself there. He had already seen ahead or foreseen that the night king was going to come look for him so he put himself there and even when he gave Arya the valerian steel in episode two of that season eight he already knew that Arya was going to be the one to kill the night king so he made it easy for her by putting himself there you know and waiting for the night king so everybody in that particular episode was a hero Theon was a hero even if he betrayed the stark family he was a hero um john snow was a hero daenerys Targaryen was a hero she was scared but she fought bravely everybody was a hero going back to my reaction i still haven't recovered guys i mean that was the best almost two hours of my entire life watching movies epic movies in particular so last word if you haven't seen the game of thrones at all if you haven't even started from season one please i beg go and start watching it you need this touch in your life <laughs> you definitely need to watch the game of thrones 
And if you have any opinion contrary to what I said about everybody being a hero in episode 3 of season 8, do so to comment in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I don't just know what to say to that. If my new look doesn't inspire you, then what else should? <laughs> so guys, please do well to click on the red subscribe button to become a part of the family. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.